So what we're looking at is a very small scale solar powered vacuum and RO system. And it's something that people who are really passionate about sugaring, but want to take their sugaring, hobby sugaring to kind of the next level, they might employ one or all of this technology. A lot of hobbyists use buckets and that technology works just as well as it always has. You put a hole in the tree, you collect the sap, you boil it down. We know from decades and decades of research that if you add vacuum to those tap holes, you'll produce more sap. Roughly the relationship is for every inch of vacuum increase, you get about 6% more sap. With all the work involved in tapping trees and collecting the sap, people who want to get more sap will, will add vacuum. So what we have is we have a very small diaphragm vacuum pump. Here we're getting about 25 inches of, of vacuum, which is extremely high, very good production. This pump is running off of a deep cycle marine battery. The battery is being charged by a single 100 watt solar panel. It's also powering a, an inverter. The pump for the RO takes AC power. And the pump is running continuously. It's constantly pulling vacuum on that tap hole, generating more sap. And that's all raw sap. Anyone who's ever boiled sap in the backyard knows there's a lot of water in sap. It takes a long time to boil and take that roughly 2% sugar all the way up to 67% sugar. It's a lot of energy. If you're boiling using wood, it's wood that you've cut and split and stacked, or it's something you purchased. A lot of people boil on turkey fryers using propane. Propane's expensive, especially when you've been boiling for eight or 10 hours. Uh, it, it really starts to get pretty expensive. So we take the raw sap from this tank, we'll run it through a very small scale RO, reverse osmosis system, and we'll eliminate half or maybe three quarters of the water before we even have to boil at all. If you added everything up, the solar panels, the pump, the six membranes, the inverter, the battery, we're around $1,000, maybe a little bit more, maybe close to $1,500, which is a lot of money. This is certainly a hobby, and some hobbies are more expensive than others, but we're also making a food, and you wanna use the best materials, food grade materials, and have care and pride in what you produce, even if it's not a huge amount. Raw sap is coming out of this 35 gallon sap tank. The raw sap comes through a primary filter to take out all the bugs and impurities that might be in the system, might be floated in. And it will come out, again, as raw sap and go into the top of the first membrane. Now, once it is forced through that membrane, you're gonna have a stream of pure water and a stream of concentrated sap. That concentrated sap is gonna go into the top of the next membrane and so on and so forth. So, through each of the six membranes. At the end, depending on how high we run the pressure, we might have sap as high as uh, 10 or 15% sugar from a starting point of two and a half. The RO is up and running, and I wanna show you just how much water or permeate we're taking out compared to the sap. So as you can see, the permeate is filling up very fast. So the raw sap that we're putting through the RO is at 1.7% sugar. And that's a little low, but typical for the earlier part of the season. At that sugar concentration, boiling raw sap, it would take 53 gallons to make one gallon of syrup. We've got it going through the RO, it's tuned well, we're getting 6.5% sugar coming out. At that rate of sugar concentration, it only takes 13 gallons to make one gallon of syrup. So a huge energy savings, fuel savings, and time savings.